Hey, welcome to Dust. I want to talk about the new agent builder that we've released that allows you to create agents in a smoother way and attach the right tools and the right data sources at the right time. All right, let's get going. I'm going to create an agent from scratch and look at what's happening. I still see my instructions first, so I can start typing a few things, but there's a few new things about that instruction box to know about. The first thing is that you can now define blocks in your instructions that are visually separated. For that, you just have to open XML tags like so. I'm going to try to add role block, and there we go. I'm going to put the role of that agent there. Then I could put something like what you do, you answer me. And if I want, the last thing is important, answer in German. There we go. Now, if my agent has a lot of instructions, I can just close some and it makes the whole thing visually a lot more appealing. Cool, but what's this little light bulb here? If I click on it, I'm going to get some tips around how to manage my instructions better. Here it's telling me that I haven't set a specific task or that I need to set the tone and style of my agent. You'll see that bulb glowing if there's anything you need to read. Cool, let's look at what's new in the data sources and the tools. Everything's on the same page now. I can see knowledge and tools. And if I want to see anything that's synced to Dust, I can add knowledge and search in the spaces that I have. So I'm going to add stuff from company data. I can still pick different tools if I want to, but the right one is going to be pre-selected depending on the data that you're putting. And the great thing now is that I can keep adding knowledge from different spaces if necessary, which was not the case before. All right, I've added two search tools from two different spaces. And now I'll get a warning saying, watch out, only users from the core dev private space are going to be able to use that agent. The second part is add tools. Tools are becoming a way bigger thing than they used to be at Dust. Now your agents can actually take a lot of actions like drafting emails, booking events in your Google Calendar, etc. And so we had to rework the way tools were displayed on your screen. Now you can add a bunch of tools and you even have a search bar here if you want to take a look at a specific one. If you click on more info, you'll see directly every action that's available to that tool. So for example, the Jira tool can get issues, get projects and create a bunch of stuff. Let's use it because it looks nice. There we go. Now I've got two searches and a tool for that agent. We've also released triggers and schedules that you will find here, but I've got another video for that. Now I'm going to name my agent. And the last thing that I can choose is who can edit it. So if I want my agent to stay private, I need to choose a few editors. If I want anybody else than me to be able to edit it and see it. If I want everybody in my company or if my agent is using restricted spaces tools, like it's the case here, only the people from that restricted space to see the agent, I'm going to switch to shared. And I can see that a Slack preferences button showed up. If I click on it, it means that I can decide that this agent will be the default agent answering in a definite Slack sense. So if I want my agent to be the default agent in demos public here, I'm just going to say. I can also tag my agent to make sure that it's findable by everyone in the company. Let's say this one is a productivity agent. There you go. I'm hitting save and that's the new way to build an agent on desk. I'll see you around.